Okay, my name is Larry Mason, and we are going through strange uses of WD-40. If you haven't heard of these before, let me know in the comments uh, down below, and I will respond. These are some things that I've tested, and some of them I have not tested. All right. Fantastic. Let's get right into it. Let me share my screen. Okay, WD-40. It has been around for decades and decades. In case you didn't know, the W stands for water displacement. WD, water displacement. 40 is the 40th formulation. So the, the uh, chemical engineers went through multiple, multiple formulations of trying different types of uh, uh, lubricant sprays. Uh, it helps with rust. It helps with lubricates. It helps take off uh, stuck bolts. Um, lots and lot preventing rust, uh, squeaky things, uh, lots and lots of uses. But let's get right into it. Let me know if you have any comments, questions down below. Um, one of the strange uses that maybe you've never heard of for WD-40 is defrosting ice. So in the uh, in the window, your car is stored outside and you need to defrost ice. It works well for that. I have heard this one over the years. Um, if you if you ever want more uses than we're covering today, you can actually Google uh, strange uses for WD-40. One of my videos will come up, but there's several, several good videos. This is another one here, easily remove crayon marks. Crayons uh, or marks on the walls. Um, it can be quite a few. It can be pencils, markers, crayons, uh, general scuffs. I haven't tested that one, but, but crayons, uh, and and markers and pens and pencils it removes very very quickly i would say for walls it actually is better than like goo gone or uh, the the citrus uh remover i forget what that product is called let me know if you remember what that product is called but that that citrus uh sticky removal thing it works better than that uh, last time we tested this one uh we had some crayons and some other markings on the wall we did the wd-40 test and it wiped it off immediately i mean it had no question that it worked fantastic. Um, I thought it, then it was going to leave a little bit of an oily sheen on the wall. It, it really didn't. It was totally fine. Polishing fishing lures. So this one I've seen suggested before that it helps with fishing lures. Um, have heard it said that it might not be recommended for the environment because you're putting it in water. But um, of all the different products out there, this one is pretty safe to use. I will tell you that. But I've never tried that one. Um, let's look at another one. Okay, this one. Sorry for the ad. No more jammed lawnmower. So this one, it's using it as preventative maintenance. WD-40, spraying it underneath is going to keep the blades and the mower deck cleaner for longer, and it also helps lubricate things. So next time you use it, your grass clippings, even if it's a little bit wet, it'll be less likely to stick um, underneath the mower and less likely to get caked up under there. So it's kind of a preventative thing. I know lots of um, people that after they're done mowing, they actually flip that mower upside down, give it a quick uh, uh, rinse and uh, hit it with WD-40 and you will be fine. Protecting bird feeders. People who live near woods often place bird feeders in their backyards to see more of mother nature from their kitchen or living room windows. But the problem is that the squirrels often eat the bird seed and even ruin the bird feeder as well. So the theory here is you can spray WD-40 uh, around the bird feeders. Um, anything where the squirrels are climbing up, you're, what you're doing there is you're trying to lubricate it so the squirrels can't climb up the uh, the bird feeder and will prevent them from taking over uh, and eating all the bird seed because squirrels are kind of annoying. Uh, protection from slugs or snails. I definitely have not tried this one. Are you stuck or tired of seeing your plants ruined by snails and slugs? The simple solution to the problem is to spray WD-40, of course, on the outside of the pot. So you're going to spray it on the outside of the pot. The slugs, snails, bugs hate the stuff. They will uh, fall off or not be able to crawl up and get into your plants. Um, it also is helping the material to become waterproof. So it seems to be an all-in-one solution to help out. Um, and I actually have heard it for pest control, have not tested it myself, don't know how good the results are, but there are lots and lots of internet videos where people are spraying WD-40 around their door frames, around the windows. They're using it as just a general pest control for nuisance bugs, uh, ants and other spiders and things crawling up on the house. And they swear by it. They swear by it. Now, over a long period of time, I wonder if it gives it a 
a little bit of a sticky residue if it builds up over time for the residual value. I'm not sure, but people do swear by it that it works. Clean candle wax and glue from a carpet. We had a video where we tested this one. It was just a short little video. Uh, we had paint. We had dried paint on the carpet. WD-40 did help. But I will tell you, I think on that one, we actually did uh, hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer to remove um, paint from the carpet actually I think worked better because probably the alcohol and the hand sanitizer broke up the paint and it came right up. It actually worked very, very good. So remember that if you get paint on the carpeting, hand sanitizer did work to remove the product for sure. Okay, next use, polish scissors with WD-40. Um, this works for indoor scissors and outdoor scissors and garden shear shears or anything like that. Um, it helps lubricate the scissors, prevents them from rusting, and helps them to last longer and work better. Getting rid of gum sticking to your shoes. Okay, so this one's kind of gross. We did test it in a video. We had um, sticky gum on concrete, stepped on it with shoe, stuck completely to the shoe, Use WD-40 to remove the the uh, sorry the um, bubble gum from the shoe worked perfectly. I'm surprised more people don't talk about this one. You get you have a bad day going through a parking lot, you get bubble gum stuck to your shoe. WD-40 will take care of it, and you will be in good shape. All right, bye bye beverage stains. Having beverage beverage excuse me beverage stains on. <laughs> Hardwood uh, does look unpleasant, of course, really on any wood. Um, in your home with beverage stains, use WD-40 to get rid of these unsightly stains. So this one I have not tested. Uh, that one looks to be like a workshop bench or uh, um, maybe a picnic table. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I think it would work. Um, you could maybe check it for color fastness in a, in a non-super visible area of the table first. But I think that one would work. Okay, keep those filters free of dust. Whether you have central air conditioning or single room air conditioning units, one of the problems is that dust can quickly get trapped in the filter. When it comes to air conditioning or maintenance, keeping filters clean is an important aspect and should not be ignored. Um, instead of worrying about keeping the filters so clean, just spray a little bit of WD-40 on the filters and it will help uh, to keep the moist. It will help in keeping out most of the dust. I'm trying to think of the scientific principle on this one, if it would work. It's going to coat it. It's going to make it less slippery or more slippery. So things are less likely to stick to it. And the dust flies by. I'm not sure on this one. I'll have to ask. I have a couple of heating buddies. I'll have to ask them on that one if they approve of that one or not. Extends the life of shower heads. All those shower heads keep on working for quite some time, year after year. A time will come when they eventually start to give out. Nothing lasts forever, but you can try to extend the shower heads life with WD-40. Not sure on that one. Um, it is a good uh, water dis disbursement for sure. Um, if you're getting a buildup on your shower heads, like that nasty orange hard water deposits, use CLR. CLR works great. You can pour the product in like a Ziploc baggie, submerged it over the shower head, zip it up so it stays in there for a bit, maybe 15 minutes or so, and you should be good to go. It will rinse all that hard water deposits off. Use it to loosen up a ring. Okay, I did try this one in a video. I had a ring that was stuck. We sprayed it on. It seemed to help. I will tell you, we did not get the ring all the way off, but it did seem to help. Uh, I think soapy water probably is the same trick, but um, I'm sure it works. I'm absolutely sure it works. So if you got a stuck ring uh, or anything stuck, go ahead and give it a try. The label, I see they're spraying on the hand there in the, in the picture. The label does say if you get the uh, product on your skin to just remove it as quickly as possible. Um, but I think that one will work. Removes mildew easily. There's no denying that mildew moss is gross and smelly, although there are ways to remove it. You can use WD-40 to get rid of hidden pockets of mildew in your refrigerator. Have never tried it in the refrigerator, um, but as a general cleaner, it is pretty darn good. Most people have it laying around. I think I would give this one a try. The product not only will get rid of this gross form of fungi, but it will also prevent any of it from growing back in the future. Just spray the product over the affected area and then wipe it off. I'm sure that one works good. Let me know if you have tried that one in the comments down below. No more tar stains. There can be black streaks at the bottom of the car, which can look really ugly. They are gathered there because of the tar that covers the roads. You can remove tar stains with scrubbing, but it will take time. 
Um, boy, in my work truck, I do have some of those. If you look at the picture, um, I do have some of those tar stains. I need to check this one out. All right, I'll give this one a try and I'll report back on to you. So uh, I live in Michigan. We have lots and lots of road construction all the time, uh, especially in the spring and summer. You definitely go through construction zones and you get that nasty tar up on your vehicle. It does not wash off with like standard car washers. Um, it is a bit of a pain. I have some spots where my truck is original factory paint and other spots where it has a nice wrap. Um, if you don't know what a wrap is, it's like an advertising banner. It's like a vinyl wrap right on the vehicle. So I'm actually going to try that. I have lots of cans of WD-40 sitting around. Um, I'm going to give that a try, see if it actually takes that stuff off, cleans, does not damage the vehicle surface, and I'll get back to you on that one. But yeah, now I'm excited. I learned a new one myself that I had not thought of. And I tell you, if you search these topics for what can WD-40 do for you, you will be shocked at how many uh, possibilities and uses, hundreds and hundreds of UK use cases for WD-40. This one we actually tested in a video just for fun. Say you had sidewalk chalk or any kind of chalk, maybe marker indicators at a, a state sale, a church rummage sale, anything you're setting up, and you want to protect the chalk from people running over it, driving over it, a little bit of rain. We protected it with WD-40 spray. We pretended to have rain come down with a garden hose, and it did work. I'm telling you, the product did work. The chalk stood up to the water because of the WD-40 protecting it. Uh, it worked perfectly. Another use case is stuck zippers. Uh, unstuck zippers with WD-40, it can get really frustrating to see the zipper of your favorite bag get stuck. It may seem like there's no solution at all to the issue, but when it comes to WD-40, WD there's always a solution. Use the nozzle to direct the flow of the spray right to the zipper's pull and then gently move it back and forth. Slowly work that spray into the inner reaches. Um, I'm sure that's worked and I've used it to get other things unstuck, so I'm sure that works and that is a really, really good idea. Sometimes those zipper teeth just get uh, kind of bound up. So I'm sure that's a great, great use. Great idea there. Helps with unsticking Legos. There are times when you want your Lego creation to last forever. And then there are times when you want to take a fresh start, pry the pieces apart. I have not tried that one. I imagine it works. Although if the residue makes it slippery, then it would hurt. There are, there, I learned this recently. I still have a nine-year-old in the house. We learned this recently. There is such a thing called a Lego removal tool. Of course, there's a tool for literally everything, a Lego removal tool that actually gets right in between that little gap in between two stuck pieces and helps them to pop right apart. Clean a hairbrush with it. Have you ever tried cleaning a hairbrush? If you tried it and didn't have a full-blown tantrum, then we have respect for you. We are sure you must have wondered if there's an easier way to manage it and the hygiene of the hairbrush. Well, yes, there is. So they are claiming if you spray WD-40 in the brush bristles, which sounds weird to me, and you don't have to scream in frustration and then and then comb it out and the hair should come out. Not sure. That's a weird one because then you're grooming yourself with WD-40. Hmm. Okay, keep moving on. Keep your records from skipping. If you still have vinyl records, that's you. If you still have vinyl records, I know they're coming back or have come back already. It's been a, a bit of a fad in the last couple of years. A vinyl record collection, again, gaining some popularity in the age of digital music. There is one problem that frustrates a lot of people. The records are super easy to scratch and causing them to skip. So you're going to take WD-40. You're going to lubricate the vinyl record and clean it with a soft cloth. That sounds smart to me. Use a soft, non-scratch cloth like eyeglass cleaner, something like that, and uh, that will coat and treat the vinyl, and you will extend its life expectancy. Clean piano keys with it. You can use WD-40 uh, cleaning piano keys with vinegar, but there is another solution out there. As piano keys get gunky, dirty over time, the best way to clean the residue is with WD-40. If we do have a piano in the house, and if you do too or have access to a piano, you will notice over time the keys do get disgusting. They just are like a lint magnet, and there's this gunk, just like computer keyboards that build up in there. So let's use WD-40 to clean that and the computer keyboards. Okay, make a wooden handle splinter proof. Uh, this does work. If you are a fan of gardening and DIY, this tip can really come in handy for you. We know that wooden handle tools can get old and exposed to the elements. When they get old, they become uh, cracked, brittle. They dry. The wood dries out. 
So if you treat the wood, and in this case, the metal, so just treat the whole implement, the oil will penetrate and absorb into the wooden handle, extending its life, um, and then the metal will be protected from future rust. Uh, we have a couple of tools right now that are completely rust coated, and I want to use WD-40 to check uh, check out. We'll probably make a little video on that that next one too of WD-40 cleaning old tools with rust and seeing how good of a job it does with that. WD-40 it helps retain leather furniture. One of the best ways to care for your leather material is by using WD-40. Whether you have cowboy boots or baseball gloves, you can use the spray to retain their softness and durability. So you're going to treat that leather piece of furniture with WD-40 and help extend its life. It helps prevent the leather from cracking. All you need to do is take a soft cloth and massage the product into the leather, leather for a soft, smooth-looking couch. It helps separate glassware. To help understand why glasses get stuck, interesting. I've never thought of this one. You need to know about the interesting properties of the material. You see glass expands when it's exposed to a warm, moist environment. That's why it gets stuck after you do the dishes. So you're going to use a little WD-40 to unstuck them. Interesting. I had no idea. I know they get stuck, but I didn't know the science of why they get stuck. Polish silver with it. Most of us are familiar with numerous uses of WD-40, such as how it is easily to remove uh, jam screws, uh, door hinges, stop screaks, all that stuff is great. It's all been proven millions of times. It works great, but we are sure not a lot of people used it to polish silver. I did not know. It. Uh, my wife actually just found an old silver goblet thing, and she's been researching how much money it's worth. Uh, but I didn't know WD-40 could be used to polish that. That's a new one or an old one depending on which way you look at it. Never look to faded plastic, a uh, new look to faded plastic furniture. Okay, this is a problem. Every year we have an in-ground pool and a lot of patio equipment, patio furniture. And I swear, well, patio furniture is crazy expensive. And I swear it seems like it's only good for one season. After one season, it just gets disgusting. And I don't care how good you clean it. There is a product called Wet It and Forget It. Google it. Wet It and Forget It. It treats and it coats the furniture outdoors so it does not get that that gunk and that moldy mildew buildup. But now they're claiming WD-40 would do the same thing. It is summertime and you take out plastic furniture to a backyard party and notice that it's faded, looks worn out. What should you do next? Instead of spending hours to clean it, very frustrating, you can do something that will restore the faded look of your plastic furniture. Spray WD-40 over the plastic furniture, wipe it down. You'll be amazed at the new look of your furniture. I will try that one for sure. That sounds interesting. I think that one could work. No more bugs on your car grill. Now you can find a pile of dead bugs on your grill inside your car in the summertime. Instead of cleaning it every time after driving through the bug infested area, you can spray WD-40 to prevent it happening in the first place. That's a running theme too. Instead of just cleaning stuff and treating stuff, you can pre-treat it to prevent the buildup in the first place. I find that a pretty, pretty interesting concept. Remove old wax with WD-40. If you are a winter sports enthusiast, you know that waxing the snowboards and skis is the extremely important part as it helps glide across the snow surface quickly and smoothly. So you, they're claiming you can use it on skis. I have no knowledge if that one's legit. Um, I know they usually wax skis. Uh, maybe this provides a similar, similar effect. Easily detangle fishing lures. All fishing enthusiasts know that a tangled mess of lines can be a headache. Sometimes you have no option but to throw out the tangled fishing lines and use a new line, but they're claiming with WD-40, it will untangle the lines and help you out. Spray it, just use a pin to undo small knobs. Interesting. I have no idea. No idea if that one works. Remove barnacles with WD-40. Um, again, back to the boat one. I've heard this one. Boat owners have uh, used it to remove barnacles in marine environments, but it could be hazardous to the water, blah, blah, blah. I think you'd have to read the product and see if it's safe for that one. No more lipstick stains. Although lip, lipstick is an important part of a makeup kit, it can easily become frustrated, difficult to remove when it gets on our clothes. If this happens, there's no need to buy a special stain remover. You have WD-40 in your house right now. I know you do. Just pull it out and it will clean it up. It absolutely will. Um, sometimes it seems like it temporarily darkens the fabric, but it, it actually does pull out lots and lots of stains. So if you didn't hear it earlier in the stream, you can use it to remove stains on your uh, doors, 
uh, knobs, walls, uh, floors. So you can also use it to remove stains from your fabrics and your clothes. Kill thistle plants with WD-40. Any person who loves gardening can tell you that weeds can easily ruin any other plants. After all, they grow super fast and are not removing um, and not removing them on time can destroy your lovely garden. One type of weed is a thistle plant, which is tricky to remove. You can't pull them out using your bare hands. There is no need to use gloves to remove it. All you need to do is spray them with WD-40 on this annoying plant called thistle, and the thistle plant will die off in record time, which makes removal easily. Interesting. I'd like to test that one. If it works, it'd be pretty cool. Another a very, very useful topic. A good rust remover. I think a lot of people know this one, that it's great for squeaks and things like that. Excellent, excellent for rust removal. If you have ever thrown away rusty locks or other things that have rust on them, right again, right now, if you didn't hear earlier in the stream, I have several tools that we're going to test this. Real, I mean, they're. I should have brought them up here. They're completely caked. Their metal tools completely caked in rust. They've been sitting in a, in a wet spot of a basement for years. Um, you can use WD-40 like magic. It will remove the rust. The best way to salvage rusty tools is to use WD-40. It will break down the rust. Um, and save you money. So spray it on there, wait a little bit, recode it, try again, and rub that old rust right off. Removes price tags and stickers. Uh, Goo Gone, that's the name that I forgot earlier in the stream. The orange citrus flavored product, it's called Goo Gone to remove stickiness, usually stickers, retail stickers, any kind of stickers. You can use WD-40 when it comes to removing stickers, such as uh, bumper stickers off the back of your car. If you're lucky, the label will come off in one piece. However, if it tears, you need to use WD-40 or any kind of sticky residue. I think it will work. I think it's um, a, a good option to try that. I certainly would try it if you don't have the Goo Gone. Um, Goo Gone is very, very good, though. I will tell you, it leaves that crazy strong orange citrus taste, and it does leave a bit of an oily residue for a, for a short period of time, and so does WD-40. Make shovel work easier. I have heard this one. We had not tested this one, but we had this one suggested to test before. Um, so you want to start a backyard project. If you spray the shovel, it'll be easier to use. That's the theory. You're making, you're coating the surface. You're making it more slick. The theory is that it'll be easier to use. I'm sure. Okay, let's try that one. <laughs> I'm a little leery of the ones that get it in public waterways or in the environment um, because I, I'd read the label first. I know they say don't get on your skin, don't inhale it, don't drink it, things like that. Uh, but in the environment, I'm not sure. I know it's not rated for uh, pest control or bug use, but a lot of people do use it for that. A lot of people use it for off-label. I mean, if you look at the label, it says penetrates, uh, rusted nuts, bolts, valves, locks, displaces moisture, helps with spark plugs, paro tools, um, squeaky hinges, wheels, chains, gears, protects rust, uh, outdoor equipment. Um, but, you know, if you're using it for any of those strange uses we talked about today, that's going to be off-label use. Uh, so be careful. Use it at, at your own will. Oh, good window cleaner. So uh, I grew up with a product called Windex, right? Windex, the blue stuff. Works great, but it has ammonia. It's stinky. It kind of streaks. So in a video, we tested WD-40 on windows. And believe it or not, it worked fantastic. Had no issue with it at all. Worked very, very well. If you want to keep less products, you know, you don't want a special lubricant in the house. You don't want a special um, rust remover. You don't want a bug killer. You don't want a separate window clean. You know, you're going to have 15 product bottles in your house. You probably can replace darn near all of them with just WD-40. It's, it's pretty incredible. Like, it does so many, so many different jobs. If you have WD-40 in your house, you can spray down the affected areas and it will clean off your windows and your mirrors whatsoever. Oh, I don't know if they put this on the list. We tested this one and it really did work. Spraying it on a mirror, like your bathroom mirror, coating it on the bathroom mirror. And then when you're taking a shower or bath and the mirror gets all steamed up, the treated area with the WD-40 doesn't get steamed up. It's coated it, it's treated, it does not get steamed up. The water like repels. Um, so yeah, it prevents steaming up of mirrors. Um, probably could use that in an outdoor car too. So yeah, pretty, pretty cool. 
no more wasp nests. You can use tons of, uh, you can find tons of informational videos and articles on how to get rid of wasp nests. Uh, but if you have a phobia of flying stings, like anybody I think would, um, WD-40 works as an effective bug and insect repellent as well. Is there anything we can't do with this product? Oh, yeah, don't use it as mortar oil. Yeah, it's not mortar oil. But, yeah, killing outdoor bees. Uh, we had a video where we tested it with stink bugs, outside stink bugs, and it works. It uh, killed them pretty much on contact. Um, they, what was really satisfying too was as they were trying to crawl on the house underneath the windows and get in the house, certain times a year in certain states have them worse than others, uh, the WD-40, uh, they would just drop down. They would just drop like flies. Like they couldn't, they couldn't climb anymore. They couldn't get inside the house anymore. So it was very, very effective on stink bugs. I had forgotten that one. Um, what's this one? Fix crack phone screens. No way. I don't believe this one. Fix crack phone screens with WD-40. We have seen so far how WD-40 can be used effectively. This is a prime example of how this product is the king in, king in the world of DIY. So one of the coolest ways to use WD-40 is to fix cracked phone screens. I still don't believe it. What's it going to do with that? Keep in mind that it won't entirely get rid of the scratches. Yeah. I don't think so. But one thing can be said with certainty that it will make the screen look far better than before. Simply apply it to the screen, take a soft cloth and wipe off the excess, uh, excess oil. So they're claiming it's going to improve the appearance of a cracked phone screen. Inter I guess it could fill in some of the fine lines, I guess. But it's still going to be a pretty horrible experience, <laughs> I would think. Clean toilets with it. No one is a big fan of cleaning toilets unless you're Monica Geller, is it because cleaning the bathroom is a messy and arduous task? Yes, it is. And given how unpleasant it is, it is no surprise that you find a lot of dirty bathrooms. We know, we we now know for sure that traditional toilet cleaning methods are not really good at doing a good job, a thorough good job. By using W40, you can easily clean your toilet in a very little time. If you don't believe us, just give it a try and let us know what you think about it. Sure. I have no idea. I guess it works. Uh, clean carpet tiles, uh, carpet tiles, pleasant, no matter this one. I have never, uh, tried. I wonder if it does it with the grout. Is there no need to break your back while cleaning the tiles? Just spray WD-40 over the tiles and watch with soapy water. Well, if you're washing with soapy water, why do you need the WD-40? You'll be surprised at the difference. Interesting. Um, grout is a pain in the butt to clean. Absolutely. I've seen there's, there's grout painting kits. So cleaning grout is such a pain in the butt and so difficult. It doesn't really work that great. Um, by the way, some of the carpet cleaning companies will claim to do grout for you. Um, and I know some companies that use steam, but it's such a pain in the butt. There are kits you can buy to paint your grout. So it's not cleaning it. It literally is getting in there on your hands and knees and painting the grout. So you get a new crisp line, new color of grout, and, and it looks new but it was not effectively cleaned. It was just painted over. Uh, clean shoes with WD-40. If you have been searching for ways to get rid of stubborn stains and are making your sneakers look awful, put an end to it with WD-40. It eliminates stubborn stains. Also, I think it would make it waterproof to a certain extent. It's definitely a great water repellent. works for that. I bet you could use it to treat uh, certain types of coats, uh, boots, uh, raincoats, things like that.